the assistant manager here at JNS Accessories in Leicester. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, the differences between the shell constructions when it comes to helmets. Now, there's no such thing as a bad helmet. All helmets have to go through ECE 2205, but some helmets do job the job better than others. So, we'll start off with the most popular one, which is uh, most readily available, which is the same as mixed composite, but more affordable, which is a uh, polycarbonate shell or high abrasive resistant thermo injected plastic. Now, the way, the reason why these can be made to such a uh, an affordable price is because they're mass manufactured. They're uh, essentially injected into a mold. So you can see on the inside of this shell, which I prepared earlier on, that you've got this like lattice effect, which is there, which is for added strengthening. You can probably just about see the seams on the inside of the helmet, which is from its manufacture when it was pushed into the mold. Now, the a lot of people know the saying that if you drop a helmet you have to replace it. With plastic shelled helmets that's usually the case even more so because the helmet's designed to flex. So you can physically see that with very little effort I'm actually flexing this shell. So in the event that you have an accident or someone drops their helmet, as it hits the floor the helmet will compress with the EPS liner and then it bounces back. So it's that bounce back that it returns to its original shape but you can't see the damage that's inside it. Now uh, the a 45 pound helmet to a 100 pound helmet this is probably about an 80 pound helmet when it was still uh, being used um, cheaper materials cheaper EPS liner uh, they've got uh, obviously less features with it as well so this is uh, a great starting out helmet with a plastic shelled helmet but then when you spend that little bit more money you get a better materials and a better quality now the difference is this is an Arai shell so this is what they call their super fiber which is essentially the same with a lot of other mixed composite helmets. So there's predominantly carbon Kevlar fiberglass in there. Now, as opposed to uh, obviously the inside of the plastic shell helmet we've just showed you, if I turn this over, you can physically see that it's all comprised of one bit. Now, these fibers aren't just laid there in any old way. Arai, Shoei, HJC, Shoeberth, and a lot of other manufacturers that produce mixed composite helmets. Um, these are laid out in a specific way. So the difference is that you can physically see that this shell is much stronger and it's not going to flex. Now, because it's a much harder outer shell, the way a helmet's designed to work is to deflect, absorb and disperse energy. So in the event of an accident, what you want is for the helmet to skip like a stone, to deflect, and the inside of the helmet with the EPS liner will absorb the energy and disperse it, protecting your head. So with a mixed composite shell, it works in two different ways as opposed to a plastic shell helmet which does it all at the same time. So with an Arai helmet, for example, when it hits the floor, R75, which is the shape for it, as it hits the road, it will bounce off the road and the inside of the helmet will then actually then absorb and disperse. So they can use a softer EPS liner in there, which is dual density with better interiors as well. These particular helmets, same as Shell, are all made by hand. So you've got a lot more versatility with the helmet. An example would be for a mixed composite shelled helmet and how it works is that I have uh, a member of staff's other half's helmet, which is here is a particular as an HJC. And you can physically see where he unfortunately came off his bike. You can see the carbon banding around the helmet as with some of the fiberglass fibers on the tail of the helmet. And it was quite a serious accident. He's still alive, don't worry. But you can also see that the damage on the helmet it took a real beating. Now this is a perfect example that when it comes to higher speeds on larger capacity bikes that's why these are here to protect us so always make sure you've got your helmet on, always make sure it's done up and come into store and actually make sure that you get the right fit for you as well because a helmet that's too big for you is unsafe, it can move around and it won't give you the, as much protection as a helmet that fits you properly. But very quick demonstration about plastic and mixed composite shell helmets. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.